Hello YouTube, LukeDude5 here, and welcome to a Redstone tutorial. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a button combination lock. And I asked a little question on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I built two versions of this lock. So this is a button combination lock where you have to enter the right combo to uh, enter or do some action. So there's two versions. This version is a resetting version, this version is a lock version. Uh, this version, if you get the combination wrong, this is the correct combo. Or not. There. Uh, if you get this one wrong, it'll just reset. So say I just do it wrong, then I can just do it the right way, and it'll work. But this one over here, if I get it wrong, it locks and I won't be able to open it now so I can put the right combo in and it won't open so I'm going to be showing you how to make this one they're pretty similar but this one is a little bit different and uh, I'll explain how this one works at the end but this one is a little more the locking one is a little more secure because people can't just like press buttons forever they have to actually reset it and then try again and stuff like that so and you don't have to have this torch so they might not know if it's locked or not and yeah it's just a little bit more secure so this is actually, th this is the same as right here. It's just a little more compact version, but I'm going to be making the little bigger version because it's easier to explain and stuff. Okay, so let's see, get rid of this wool. I'm going to use black and lime. So you just want to put a row of five, five by two um, wool or anything, doesn't matter. And then you just put bu five buttons on it. This is going to be the reset button, and the ones on the right are going to be the actual buttons. So, behind the buttons, put four, actually, uh, put four wool, except behind the reset button, just put a torch behind that. And I'm going to be using a certain combo in this. Uh, you can change the combo, but it takes a little bit of switching stuff around, and so it it's a little bit of work, you should probably have some intermediate experience if you're going to switch the combo around. But for this I'm going to make the combo uh, 2, 4, 3, 1. And you can, add, you can add more buttons, but it just makes it more complicated, so I'm just going to use 4 for this tutorial. Okay, so behind, put repeaters on the first and third buttons, and redstone on the second and fourth. And then from the second button, just extend out a little trail of redstone. And I'm just going to make it go pretty far, because uh, that's how I'm going to build it. And then at the end of this trail of redstone, make an RS NOR latch, which is made like so. Uh, so basically, this when we press this button here, it'll switch the state, and the state of this RS NOR latch will stay here until it reset. So it basically just holds whatever state uh, that I, that I, when the button is pressed, it changes the state. So, for the second button press, we're going to do the same thing with the fourth button. Just extend a trail of redstone, and make another RS nor, but this time facing the opposite way. So, it, just the same thing, just like so. And I'm going to reset. Actually, it doesn't really matter, but I'll reset you just to show you that this side is the off side. Okay, so now I want to connect this RS nor to that RS nor like that. And what that does is, now I can't press this button and have it change. You can see without this, press this button and it changes. So this is what's going to make the com or, uh, combination uh, order sensitive. So you're going to have to press this button first, and it, you can see it changes, and then you can press this button. So that is what makes it order sensitive. Okay, now we're going to make the third RS NOR latch. We need one RS NOR latch for each button. And it's we're gonna, I'm going to make it from the third button. So, I'm going to make it up a bit. Like this. And actually, I'm going to make it two out, like so. And you're going to see that's going to be useful later. So, now you can just make a little square 
and I'm going to make this aerial because it's easier and it doesn't take as much space. So I just make the RS knower like so, and then connect that to the repeater. So you can see it's on right now. And okay, so what you want to do with this is you want to connect this side, the far side, to this side of the second RS knower. And that's basically the same thing as connecting the first to the second. You're just connecting second to the third. So, just going to connect it. Uh, there's there's a few ways you can connect it. I'll just go the long way. So I'm just going to go under here. Okay. Okay, and even even if you didn't need a repeater here, you'd still want one. So the signal here doesn't affect anything over here. Okay, so now we have three parts of our lock. You can see we can't activate the third one. We can activate the first one, still can't activate the third. If we activate the second, now we can activate the third. So we've got three parts of our lock, and now we're just going to make the final one with the first button. So we're just going to connect this to an RS knower over here. And here it is. So when we punch this, this is the on side. So we want to connect this, the third repeater, to the fourth one. And since when we reset it, this side is on, th that's the side we want to connect it to. So pretty simple. You can just do that. And again, use a repeater so that doesn't affect anything over here. Okay, so that is that is the basic part. You can see you can't press the fourth button until the other three have been pressed. So that's the basic lock, and now we need to make the resetting or the locking part. So we need to make the part that locks it if the wrong combination order is pressed. So to make that, what you want to do is connect the third and the second button to one side of an AND gate. So I'll just start with the third. So you want to connect this to one side of an AND gate. Okay, one sec. Okay, so this is going to come over here. Time, day. This is just going to come over here. And we're going to put an AND gate right here. And, and when we press this button, it activates one side of the AND gate. And we're going to do the same thing with the second, with the fourth button. We're just going to connect it to the same side of the AND gate. So whenever the second or the fourth but third button are pressed, whenever the third or the fourth button are pressed, it activates that side of the AND gate. Okay, so now we want... Oh, I'm almost at a green wall. Are you kidding me? It's snowing weather. There. Yeah, that's why I have so much snow here, because it keeps snowing. Um, so now we want to connect this side of the second out our, 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 uh, the RS NOR to the side of the end gate. So pretty simple. You can just connect it like this. OK, so what this is going to do is this is going to lead to the locking mechanism. So you can see that this side is off. And if this side is off, it's going to activate this side. So if we press the second second button, it's going to activate. That's going to lock the gate. If we press the first button, it's going to lock the gate. But if we press the first side first, then we press the second side, you can see it changes states and it doesn't activate that. So reset it 
if we press the first one and then the third one, you can see it locks it. So that is what the AND gate is for. So now we just need to make the RS NOR that the AND gate uh, leads to. So we're just going to make it over here. Connect a little trail of redstone. Cut this off right there. Okay, so this RS NOR, you can just make it looking like this. Okay. So let's try it. Press the first, or press just press the third button. That's incorrect. You can see it activates the side of the RS NOR. So what we want to do with this is just connect the on side of the RS NOR when it's locked. And if you're not sure what side that is, you can just put a torch there, activate that, and then it'll activate that side. And that'll be the locking side, whatever side is on after that. So we want to connect that to the first RS NOR. So you can see this is the first one, connects from button number two. And connect it to the actual redstone. And now, when this is on, we won't be able to change the state of this. So I'll just reset this real fast. Or not. Oh yeah, okay. And you need to repeat it here. Because otherwise, this being on will affect the state of this. And you won't be able to reset it or anything. So now I can reset it. And I can press the third button. And you can see it turns on over here. And now I can't press these buttons and it won't do anything. So that is the locking gate. So now we need to connect that with the fourth button and the third button, or the third and fourth buttons that you press with buttons one and three, kind of confusing. <laughs> so we need to connect the signal from when you press this button with the output of this third RS NOR. So I just come over here like so. And let's see, I guess I'll just connect it like this. And make sure you put a repeater. Actually, for this one, you don't need a repeater as long as the signal from here is able to reach over here. Okay. So you want to make another AND gate with, again, the, uh, the fourth button that you're going to press, or in this case, the first button, button number one, to one side of an AND gate, and the output of the third RS NOR to the other side. Okay, and then we're just going to connect this back to the RS NOR over here, the locking mechanism. So to do that, I'm going to go underground. Just digging down there so I know when I get there. So underground, just dig a bit, dig a bit down here. There we go. Oops. Don't want to do that. <laughs> so, dig down one more. There we go. And we'll just connect it to the other side of this. Just make it like that. Okay. So let's let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Need a repeater there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the only place you need a repeater. So now if we everything's reset. Yeah, if we press the fourth button first, or the first button, 
it'll lock it, and it's locked. So now it can't do anything. Nothing will work. So now I just need to connect the reset button, and all the reset button is going to do, it's going to connect to the locking RSNOR uh, latch and the first RSNOR. So you just need to connect Trails of Redstone at the backs of both of those. And we just need to connect that torch to these, which is probably harder than it sounds. So I'm just going to go under, which is not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> uh, okay. So again, I'm just going to go back over here and make a little pathway down. And then I can just come back over here and connect it all the way. Okay, so I just need to make some stairs down and then we can connect it and it's done, pretty much. So, since we're using a torch here to make it easier to go down going to need to invert the power which we can just oh yeah which we can just do down here uh it doesn't really matter where i'm just going to do it right here and make that so i can get around and then we're just going to connect this up 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 and I have a feeling that might not reach. So let's go see. Doesn't quite reach over here, so I just put a little put a repeater. And there we go. So to tell whether it's uh the combination is correct or not, it's the fourth RS NOR and the side that so when it's all reset, the side that's not on. So it's going to be this side. So we're just going to connect a little piece of redstone over. And this torch right here, which needs to be inverted. <laughs> like so. It's one out. This torch right here will tell whether the correct combo, well, whether it has the correct combo or not. So. One, there are two, four, three, one. And it doesn't work, so let's troubleshoot. Let's see. Oh yeah, it does work. This, I just failed on this. <laughs> okay, so, do that again torch is off, it's been reset, there's a reset button. Two, four, three, one. Torch is on. Reset. Let's do an incorrect combo. Press buttons. And now I'm going to try the correct combo. Torch does not come on because it's locked. You got to reset it before you can unlock it and put the correct combo in again. And sometimes if you press it too fast, it won't work. So, that actually could be good. There we go, there's the torch. So this is how you make a combination lock with buttons. And it's actually, it's not that complicated. It may look kind of complicated, but it's pretty simple. It's just a few R's and latches and a bunch of connecting redstone. So, I said I would explain this one. And this one, the resetting one, it pretty much works the same, but instead of an RS nor to lock it, it just has an AND gate, and uh, these AND gates will go down here and reset it instead of locking it. So it's pretty much the same thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you, and maybe you'll use it in your house or something, or somewhere. And I'll see you next time. Bye.